I love the fact that you can do probably almost every operation on this machine because of the tool changing capability. That's right. Um, on other kinds of machinery, you might have to hand load those, and that increases yeah. your cycle times, increases the amount of uh, times an operator needs to come and intervene in the part. And with big parts like this, cycle time is, is of the essence. They're already kind exactly. of 40 hours sometimes. Exactly. Getting that time down is really important. Big machinery like the one behind me is always a daunting investment. It's a, it's a big machine to put on your shop floor and it takes a lot of thought. Let's go through exactly the configuration, Ignacio, first. We're here at the Abamia Open House. Let's have a quick look. What have we okay. got here? What kind of machine? Okay, let me show it to you. Here, we've got a horizontal multitasking spindle with a big chuck, 630 millimeters. It's absolutely huge. Um, and this kind of machine is for, for round parts, obviously. It's a big lathe yeah. for long round parts. Uh -huh. um, and what kind of sectors are we talking about when we discuss? Usually, I size? mean, we are very flexible at Ibarmia. We have a moving column machining center, and then on the front, we can be very flexible with how we configure it. In this case, what we have is a horizontal multitasking lathe, usually used for hard materials. In this case, it's a company working for the oil and gas sector. Absolutely. So what I love is you're using kind of your, your top milling technology in the back of the machinery here. So we have a spindle here that you don't normally see a spindle of that size with that much, about 75 kilowatt spindle. That's correct. Um, yeah. on, a on, a, on a turning machine here. So That's you're correct. using your top milling technology on the front, which is what you could just stick a really big part on with two steady rests and a tail stock, or maybe would you put three steady rests on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just what you said. We've got a strong milling capacity here, that big spindle with 75 kilowatts power, 12,000 RPM on a Capto C8 tool taper. And then we're combining that with the items we put on the front of the working area. That multitasking spindle, with the steady rest and the tail stocks that can be driven, can be moved along the x-axis so you can set up different jobs, parts of different lengths along the whole, the whole working area. Absolutely. If you take a look at the details here on the steady rest, these are almost like generic platforms that you could put any kind of uh, ac machining accessory on. So these are zero point, uh, That's four right. zero point uh, points here. The beauty of it is that it's so flexible because of those zero points as you've just said. You can have the steady rest, but you could also have a different combination. You could put two supports together, have a rotary table and machine parts in five axes combined with the B-axis technology we have here. Absolutely, and that's so important when you're investing in a big machine like this. You need the good technology to rip through harder materials, make yeah. sure that you, you can't just cut aluminiums. You can get good accuracy in tougher materials, but also different shapes of materials too. So a component that might be long and uh, round you might have one day, but you might need that flexibility. Now, what are the other configurations for maybe a job shop who doesn't just do the long round exactly, oil and gas parts? Exactly, the limitation of the standard multitasking lathes, the horizontal lathes, is that the only parts you can machine are the ones you can chuck on, on that chuck over there. Yeah, which there, there will be a maximum bore size, a maximum diameter. Exactly, if and all parts will be same shape. They have to be chucked there and then you can machine them here. The advantage with Ibarmia is that since you have these platforms, you can be machining all the parts. You can be doing five axis jobs by integrating a rotary table on, on top of these platforms here. You could do so many different jobs. Even you could have the machine as a horizontal machining center because this B axis can come down here and machine at 90 degrees. Then apart from all those things, you have the capacity to change long boring bars that you can see over there and then extra large tools on this other side. Absolutely. Always keeping in mind that you have a very strong milling spindle here. Absolutely, I love the fact that you can do probably almost every operation on this machine because of the tool changing capability. That's right. Um, on other kinds of machinery, you might have to hand load those and that increases yeah. your cycle times, increases the amount of uh, times an operator needs to come and intervene in the part. And with big parts like this, cycle time is, is of the essence. They're already kind exactly. of 40 hours sometimes. Exactly. Getting that time down is really important. Exactly, what a lot of customers tell us is that one once they install this, uh, this machine in their workshop, they end up putting all the parts through the machine because of the efficiency, the efficiency when it comes to machining. Absolutely. Efficient machining, reduce your cycle times on ridiculously complex parts with some top milling technology on a mill turn here from Abamia.